Hi guys, Dixon Jones here from Inlinks, and I'm really excited that uh, Stephen set up this test. It's uh, it's 10 o'clock in the evening here, and I'm just about to go to bed because I've got to do a webinar in Australia in the morning. Uh, but uh, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video to uh, show you how to uh, um, get from uh, the link that Stephen's got in the in the Facebook post through to uh, getting some web page schema up on your page. Um, so if you get to this page here that um, uh, that, that Stephen set up for you, uh, then from there just go and set up a website. I'm setting up a, fr a free one here, um, and uh, and then uh, you've got to confirm the email, which will come through. Press that, and off you go. And you get to this screen here. And this screen here then says, right, you can do one of two things. You can either add a new content brief. That's not part of the experiment particularly because that's for optimizing content. What you want to do is press that button here for add a new project. Uh, and then you want to add uh, a website, the, the website that you want to test. So if I want to test webmasterworld.com, um, I've got to decide what market I want to be in, whether it's the United States or the UK or Canada or France. We've got English and French markets at the moment. I wouldn't bother putting in the retrieve 20 first top 20 pages because that's not what you need to do for, for this particular experiment. Uh, just uh, uh, just let it go and it'll go through some stuff uh, and, and set up a project. Now the whole idea here is that you want to get a, uh, something that ranks already and try and make it a little bit better. So uh, this ranks, uh, Webmaster World ranks for Google AdSense forums um, just underneath uh, Google product forums and stuff so maybe you might want to improve that. So uh, you'd go and uh, choose that URL and um, within the the system uh, select the add pages button and add the add the the url here so i've added the the, the page that's going already ranking and we want to make it a little bit better um into uh, into the system once you put it into the system uh, you can optimize and try and optimize the content and get this kind of stuff but that's not what we're trying to do either what we're actually trying to do now is this and i'll show you uh, show you live uh, so if i get this uh, over So this is my, my web page here, um, and uh, let's make it full screen. Let's move me out of the way. Uh, and you need to, uh, in order to get the schema to, to work, you need to associate the page with some kind of topic or idea. So if you press the associate button here, then it will uh, look at the topics that it has found on, well, in fact, it'll only find the topics that it's found on that page. If you'd put other pages into the system, it would have numbers by here as to how many potential links you could internally create. But we're actually just going to create the, the schema now. And so this, this page is about Google. Um, save that. Uh, and uh, we're going to do it again. Uh, we're going to also add another one. Oops. And make the topic also about AdSense. Save. Now, what you could do if you wanted to is also add, um, if you didn't find a topic listed in there that's going to be right for you, then another way that you can add a topic is to go and find any web page on Wikipedia that exactly explains what you've got and you could put that in there and it would do the same thing. Okay, but now we've got this page. It may take a few minutes uh, or a few seconds, depends how many of you are doing it at the same time, but it'll create the schema for you on the fly. So if I press that dot there, then we can see the schema that's getting created. So if I move, move me out of the way again, uh, then we can see down here that it's got the schema. Now, You've got two ways. You could try and cut and paste that schema and put it straight onto your web page, and that's what a lot of people are doing. Uh, but what I would say is if you've got things in here that we've kind of found that it doesn't need, so for example, uh, this isn't about uh, need. So I'm going to press that, and that removes the markup. Uh, it's also not uh, necessarily about publishing. It could be, um, or ad filtering. It's certainly not about Facebook or Microsoft. So I'm going to take those out. OK, and then uh, the the there's two different ways of putting the, the, the system onto your site. You can cut and paste this code, but that's not what it's designed to do. So you might get these icons and things put in there as well. What it's designed to do is to have you add uh, this script to the footer of your web page, because then as you add more pages, then uh, the schema and internal links and uh, all the other bits and beauty of, of inlinks will work well. But you can do things either way. It's this code that we're trying to get onto the page uh, to see if the uh, web page schema is having an effect. Okay, 
Thanks very much and uh, good luck with, with uh, the test.